Okay, we've talked about the first two out of three phases of Google search, indexing and querying, and I've showed you how, how a, a, a full text index can be used to answer the questions and return results. The last thing for us to talk about is what happens to those results that are returned. How are they displayed? How do you see them? What happens with them? And most importantly, which ones are on top? To understand which ones are on top, we're going to start with this idea of the Google page rank. Now, as you'll see, there's lots of factors that determine what, um, uh, which, page is going to be, which page is going to be on top, but the page rank is really the major one. The page rank is the first one. The page rank is the most important one at Google. So how does page rank work? Well, I can let you read the, this quote for yourself and unpack it, but what I want to um, do is, is instead kind of illustrate it, not just define it. So, if you were going to say which one should be first, how might you do it? Well, you might say the most popular page, the one that people like the best, the one that's you know, most used is the one that should be on top because that's how the people have voted, right? The pa people have voted in the web page popularity contest and this page came to the top. And in fact, that's how the algorithm works, an algorithm being a process. That's how the process works for Google PageRank. We look at all the other pages that are pointing to your page, and if tons and tons of other pages are pointing to your page, then it gets higher on the rank. It gets more importance. It's considered to be more important because more people are paying attention to it. Okay, that's point A. Point B, which makes it a little, even a little bit more sophisticated, is and it matters how important the pages that are pointing to you are. If a bunch of unimportant pages, and when I say unimportant, I mean nobody points to them, are all pointing to your website, then that's less important than if a bunch of really important pages that everybody else is pointing to are pointing to your web page. So this idea of page rank really has two parts. The more pages that point to you, the higher your rank, and the more important those pages are, the higher your rank. So a few very important pages can count a lot more than a bunch of pages pointing to you that aren't very important. So what is that? Kind of it's a popularity contest. And the more popular you are, the more popular you're going to get because Google's going to put you on top. More people are going to see your page. More people are going to link to your page, et cetera, et cetera. And that makes you even more popular. So what I like to think, the way I like to think about this and the way that it kind of makes sense to me and also sort of points up what it, what it shows about the underlying way that we think about web pages is to think about a kindergarten classroom. First day of school, all the uh, five and six year olds are in the classroom and one kid stands out for whatever reason. Maybe the kid makes a wisecrack, maybe the kid you know, builds something really cool and everybody starts paying attention to that kid. Now all the kids are paying attention to that one kid and because they're paying attention to that one kid, everybody else starts to pay attention to them. And because everybody else is starting to pay attention to them, people pay even more attention to them. And they become sort of the center of activity. They become one of those hubs, right? That's kind of what we're talking about here. The page is a hub because a lot of other people are pointing to it. The kid is a hub because a lot of other kids are paying attention to them. Now the question is, and this is a really important question, should that be the most important kid in the class? Is that the kid that deserves the most attention? Would you consider that to be the most important kid in the class? Clearly they're the most popular kid in the class. And not only the most popular kid in the class because everybody's paying attention to them, but the second and third and fourth most popular kids are paying attention to them. So that, makes them, that gives them even more attention because all the people who pay attention to the second and third and fourth most important kids are all, in paying, are all paying attention to that first most important kid. So the question remains, is that the best kid? Is that the kid that everybody should be paying attention to? When in fact that kid maybe just did something kind of funny the first day of school or whatever. So what I mean to say by this extended example of page rank is A, how it works. Popularity breeds popularity, brings something to the top. But B, that it, you know, it has some shortcomings as well. Should those pages really be the most popular pages on the web? Should they really be the most popular just because they're popular? And the fact remains that the more popular they are, the more popular they get. So this mechanism tends to escalate popular pages and completely devastate unpopular pages because no one ever gets to them through Google so nobody ever knows to link to them so they get less and less and less popular. So it's a vicious cycle for unpopular pages but it's a virtuous cycle for popular pages. At any rate, that's how it works and you can see in the diagram here yet another way to look at this. The diagram here is the same diagram I showed you before. It's a network diagram of web pages. Each of these web pages is connected to a bunch of other web pages and depending on how many pages are pointing to it it may be a very popular page. You can see the one I'm pointing to has tons of pages that are all pointing to it. That's a popular page. It may be a not popular page, like nobody's pointing to it. Or it may be a reasonably popular page, like a bunch of things point to it. 
So if very popular pages are pointing to you, that makes your popularity even stronger. And it's very, very much akin to the social network that we talked about before. If you're a hub person in that social network with lots of people linked to you, you're going to be considered more, port, more important than an isolate person who only has one link to the rest of the network. Okay, that's the idea of page rank, but, um, but, but the way results are, are, um, are ordered on, on Google only starts with page rank. There's a ton of other things.